we are good at talking, that's why we, we, we make good lawyers, but we are not good people at making rules. So, <laughs> there is a good advantage in that. Now, because of the agency crisis, we were able to make sure the generic industry could survive. Now, once that happened, the MNCs did not realize the import of it. We realized it. We also thought that there is a defeat. But the first case which came up for interpretation of 3D was the Novartis case on the drug Gleevec. What is Gleevec? It's an anti-cancer drug. It is the original molecule is imatinib. Imatinib. Imagine it. Uh, the press release is out, by the way, so you can take that. And I'm just explaining it to you so that when you read the press release, it'll be simpler. So, now, imagine it was patented in the U.S. and Canada, but it couldn't be patented here because that was pre-1995. By the time the patenting regime came here, they had discovered imagine mesylate, which is a salt form, and a crystalline form of imaginary message, which is the beta crystalline form. So they sought to patent the beta crystalline form, saying that this one is more efficacious than imaginary. So they applied for a patent before the patent controller. And in order to show that it is patentable, there are two things which are very important internationally which have to be satisfied. I just explain to you simply because I want you to write your own piece. You know, you can then, you'll be patent lawyers after this. Like the judges have become. So, one thing, first thing is it has to be new or it's called novel. Novel is a simple concept. Has it been shown in any single document? with all its limitations, but not in more than one, only in a single document. If it is shown, then it is not known. Very simple. Suppose beta crystalline form of imaginary mess. Has it been disclosed in any document, beta crystalline form? No. The answer is no. Or has it been produced? It's called practiced. In pattern, it's called, has it been practiced? So if it is produced before the the date you make the application, which is known as the priority date, then it is not novel. Very simple. Anybody can do it. But the second one is more complicated. The second one is, okay, it's novel. You've made a beta crystalline from, from imacillate. Imagine imacillate or imaginate. Could a person who's skilled in chemistry would have thought of the beta crystalline form and made it? If that person could have thought of it, it's obvious. It is not inventive. Okay, that is the meaning of inventive. It's easy to explain it, but when the case is gone, it becomes quite complicated. But that's the meaning of it. Invention, inventive step, means a person skilled in the art would have thought of it and be able to make it. Okay, and in our law, then the 3D comes in. There's another thing is not important, is it industrially applicable? If you have a great idea, you can't use it industrially, it is not patentable anywhere in the world, but we are not concerned with that. We are only concerned with, is it novel, is it inventive, and is 3D in India applicable? So, at the patent of the 3D, is it significantly more efficacious, the new form than the known structure? That is 3D. We know only the 3D now, we don't talk of the long-winded thing. So the patent controller said, it is not novel, it is not inventive, and 3D doesn't allow it to be patented, because it is a new form. Crystalline form of a methylene mesylate is a new form. They argued that even the mesylate is new, okay, then they had challenged it in the Madras High Court, saying that 3D is not compliant with chips and it's not constitutional. Madras High Court said, I want to use bad language, but they told them they are rejecting it. Though they deserved all the bad language that you can have. Because these are mercenaries. I can tell you that I have also said this in open public speeches and I was issued a notice by Daniel Vasela saying that I am hired by generic companies so I issued a legal notice to them. 